Hello guys and gals, welcome to another unboxing video, and today we have the Z-Box. Um, now, a bit of controversy, I did say I was going to cancel the Z-Box, but I thought, you know what, for review purposes, I'll keep it going. It's not the worst box in the world, but we've just had a really, really bad rough patch at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. To the point where a lot of your comments was just like, do you know what, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And I said, fair enough, and I was exactly the same. Uh, but then I thought, do you know what, no. For review purposes, I'm keeping the Z-Box, it's cheap enough. So yeah, so it came. Uh, I left it for a couple of days. Um, this week has been a bit tiring for everybody. Um, so I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do it at the weekend and so I've got a fresh head, uh, I feel more energised and I can just generally produce a better video. So uh, so I left it a few days and it's a glorious sunny Sunday, the roast is in the oven and we've got a box to open. So uh, Z-Box, it's a subscription box, they do different tiered subscriptions, so if you go for the 12 year subscription you get it at like £17 a month, uh, but then if you just want to do it on a month to month basis that's £20 a month and then there's different plans in between, there's a 3 and a 6, and basically you either pay 17 18 19 or £20 depending on what tier you go for. Um, there's generally a theme and from what I can tell this month is space, I think. Something along those lines. But the sticker on the side says Fen. So, I don't know. I, I'm hoping, because we have had a few boxes where they say, this is the theme, and it generally isn't the theme when it shows up, and they've just changed it at last minute. So I'm hoping we're back on track with Z-Box. It's a new year. The first two boxes were crap, like I said. The last box was actually okay. I'm hoping that this box is good as well. So with all unboxings, anything that's good that comes out of it, we give it an up. And if it's not so good, then we give it a down. And then there's pricing at the end, and then we give a general review of the box afterwards. Now, my missus said that she wanted to open the box before I did it so she could see the items. And I said, okay, no problem. Just don't let me know what it is. And she was like, fine. So she looked in the box, and her general face was as it, I don't know if that's a, or a, Mmm, you're going to be happy with this one. So the box is already open. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's put it sideways because then I've got more room. Now, generally with a Z-Box, there is an absolute brick ton of packaging. Oh. Oh, oh. Two airbags says to me that this could be a good box. Because usually you sat there and you're pulling it out like a magician pulls tissues out of his sleeve. And I felt that first box. That first box is massive. Let's do it. What? <gasps> AV. Oh, my God. That is, that's immense. Look at that. It's a... Is that glow-in-the-dark? It's very green. Yeah, glow-in-the-dark paint variant. It's um, it's a xenomorph from... a Well, it looks like from Alien vs. Predator, but the original, obviously, the xenomorph is originally from Alien. Um, but the Alien and Predator figurine collection, figure stands 120 mil... That doesn't sound very big. 12 centimetres. That's a massive box. For, I mean, look at the size of that box compared to my head. And the figure inside is what, 12 centimetres? Ooh, I need a... I should have been more prepared. Now I'm kind of worried now it says 12 centimetres and the box is huge. It's the Mahothiv. Come on. I don't want to... Oh yeah, there's a lot of polystyrene in it. Ooh. That is a big old box. What's that? I think that's general advertising. That is really well there. That is very well wrapped. Uh, sorry if this has taken so long, but uh, there's a lot of packaging. You 
especially when stuff is this well packaged it's made out of pottery or something oh it's got some weight to it right so yeah that's a lot of packaging oh, i don't know well wow. well there we are um what i'm gonna do then that looks it looks all right actually it's not bad mind you it's got a bit of polystyrene stuck to it um well yeah i'm giving that an up close-ups on the screen for you the detail i don't know i do i, I gotta be honest i would have preferred a full colored but that that's impressive an alien is oh alien's one of my favorite films so that is a nice addition to the collection to be fair that that's an herb that's immense That'd be interesting to see how much that is, actually. Oh, well, <laughs> and that's pretty much the entire box. Oh, no. Um, hmm. It's a bag in a bag. It just There's just a barcode on it. What is this? Oh, there we go. Right. Feels quite heavy. Is it going to be like a key ring or something? Sounds like a key ring. God, it's very fiddly today. Is that it? Yeah. Right, so you've got a little black bag. And it's a big chunk of metal with a Star Wars symbol on it. Oh, come on. God, this is very fiddly today. Right, there we go. That's really nice, actually. Um, Is this Mandalorian? I think, because the... Um, because the, I'll put a close-up on screen so you can see the pattern in. Um, but there's a little Star Wars symbol just by here, like Rebel Alliance or whatever it is. Um, or is it for like the first, is it First Order? First Order symbol? I can't remember now, off the top of my head. But that looks like, correct me if I'm wrong, that looks like Beskar. And I think the Mandalorian does tasks and he gets paid in this and then he melts it down to make additions for his armour. I think. Either that or everything that I've just said is complete and utter nuts. But I like that. That's that's an up. That's quite a hefty. Oh, I don't know if I put that on my keys, because that is, that's quite significant. That's a significant weight that is. But uh, close ups on screen. That's an up. Oh, let's see what else we've got. Right, I can feel a t-shirt. And a t-shirt. Is that it? Three items. Oh, a uh, t-shirt then. Uh, the, the, the super super what? Super Metroid. Oh, that's wicked. Uh, is it Samus? Sam? Same? Seamus? Seamus? Samus? The main character? Cool. I'll tell you something, right? Uh, Metroid. Um, oh, GameCube. Best Metroid game I have ever played was the one for the GameCube, and I spunked hours and hours on that game. It was immense. Super Metroid. Whoa. Oh, that's really nice. Space. Yeah, it's space themed. Well, it's definitely space themed. Um, T-shirts and up. Uh, T-shirts are three items. Is that? I couldn't feel any. Oh, no. I've just seen the last item. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's space themed. And I was kind of expecting one of these. This is the um, uh, uh, Star Trek ships. And we've had quite a few of these in the past. And I'm not a massive fan of Star Trek. And on top of that, the um, the Star Trek ships that they generally send you are like not the mainstream ones. The, then it's not like you get the Enterprise or uh, you know I don't really know Star Trek to be honest with you. But um, or something Cube, a Cube, something Cube. What's that? Anyway, um, so yeah. So uh, what is this? It usually says on the bottom of the stand. It's a Bajoran freighter. I couldn't see it because the light was shining on it. Uh, a Bajoran freighter. That means nothing to me. Um, Got to be honest with you. Uh, I'm giving it a down. Because they are nice models if you collect that sort of thing. No, do you know what? Let's give it an up. Let's give it an up. Because just because I'm not a massive Trekkie doesn't mean that this is a pants item. It's a good item, I think, if you're into Star Trek. So I'll give it an up, actually. Um, but I don't know. Some might disagree with that because even Trekkie fans might be like, well, it's a bit of a crap ship, to be honest with you, because it appeared in season 
30,000 episode 5 and it appears once and that's it. So, And that's the sort of ships that you do get in these Star Trek things. Like I say, it's no Enterprise or whatever or any of the popular ships because I ain't got a clue what that is. I'll give it an up. I will give it an up. I did say a down, but I will give it an up purely based on the fact that for Trekkie fans, that is good. But for me personally, it's a down. But, you know, it's got some nice weight to it. The detailing's not the best, I don't think. But there we are. So, right, that is it. That is it now. Cool. So, generally, not a bad box. That alien looks really cool. I want to be really careful with it because it's got all that polystyrene around it. So, I'm thinking this could potentially be like a really breakable, fragile pottery of some kind. I don't know, or it could just be plastic, and what I'm feeling is just the glow-in-the-dark paint, but either way. Um, so, yeah, generally all good so far. Um, I'll be back in a second with prices. So, after doing a few prices on the internet, we have... Okay, um... Right, we'll start with the T-shirt, and all T-shirts, I give them a tenner. So that's £10 straight away. Bearing in mind we paid £17 for this box, so that's £10 already. Right, the Alien Glow in the Dark doodah is coming in at £12 from a place called Next Level. Uh, I was expecting more from that, to be honest with you, but um, £12 either way. So that's your value right there. That We're up to 22 quid already. Paid 17 so not bad. Now, the, this um, Star Trek ship, um, the only place that really sells it, other than eBay, is the actual Eagle Moss shop themselves, and they're selling that at 15 quid. So, I'm going to have to give it £15. You can pick them up cheaper on eBay, obviously. You can also pick them up more expensive on eBay as well. But we're going with the Eagle Moss thing, and we're going with 15 quid. Which isn't bad, if you collect that sort of stuff, but there we are. And then the, um, the Beskar... Uh, keychain um, can't really find it anywhere but um, Etsy are selling versions of it for uh, about £8 uh, and that is in a key ring you can also get a Beskar necklace uh, off of Etsy as well and there's different variants of Beskar as well and they're slightly cheaper they're coming in at £4 and £5 but to get something with that sort of gradient on the metal you probably look at about £8 and you get a nice little bag for it as well which i'm not surprised because i wouldn't put that on my keys because the the weight of it would it do my head in um so that's it so the value is immense to be fair uh this month um the alien for me is the clear winner um just because i've not really received anything alien before that's 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 pretty impressive to be fair but like i say, i would have preferred it if it was properly colored in uh with the black and the silver and you know more detail but the glow in the dark variant not bad so half decent box well half decent it is a good box it is a good box it really is so you know i think this could be a turning point for z box and do you know what it's about time i love it i you know the items this month are great so let's just let's just hope it stays up for the rest of the year for everybody really so anyway that's my box that's not my box that's my video um give me a like comment share and subscribe and i will see you again soon Ta-da!